It's time for the Travel Voice by Becky. From the East Coast to the West Coast, from the Gulf Coast to the mountains in Montana and all the cottages in between. Sit back and relax as she does all the heavy lifting and getting you the information you need for travel. From Tokyo to Paris, France, if you've got to travel there, Becky's going to talk about it. So pack your bags and get your passport ready and take a journey with the only voice in travel. Travel that matters, your host, Becky Beal. Good morning. Welcome to the Travel Voice by Becky. Today is a very special day. We are talking about all things Winterfest. Mike, you know what that means? I do know what that means. That is that is the big, what's the word I'm looking for? That's the big uh, shindig up in Gatlinburg, that, right? That would be a very southern way to put that, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so our friends who are hearing us in Kalamazoo, they're going to be like, what is a shindig? In, in, <laughs> in, insert whatever phrase means a big party. That's exactly right. I was just going to say a very big party, and that's going on in the Smoky Mountains area right now in Tennessee, and we've got some great guests that we're going to be talking to today. We're going to talk to Jim Davis over in Gatlinburg, and then also Amanda Marr, who is with uh, Severeville. She's in PR with Severeville CVB, so got some great guests, great things on the lineup today, so everybody stay with us. We're going to be talking to Jim here very shortly, and you know, one of the things that um, I'm not real familiar with, Mike, and I'm hoping we're going to get to talk to Jim a little bit about, is uh, the New Year's Eve deal where they drop the ball in Gatlinburg, and I know you were telling me you've been to that before, but um, that just sounds like an awesome family event. Yeah, that that's amazing, Becky. Uh, my family and I actually spent our first uh, New Year's Eve ever up there uh, last year, and uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun. R- great family environment, uh, fireworks, ball drop, you know, thousands of people in the street. It's about the closest you could probably get to the Times Square experience, but just wow. right up right up a few hours in Tennessee. Wow, that sounds amazing. Well, I can't wait. We're going to have to make sure we talk to Jim about that today. And speaking of Jim, let's go ahead and get Jim on the phone now. How about that? Let's go. Okay. Welcome into the Travel Voice by Becky. This is Jim Davis on the phone with us today. Jim is the, well, tell us exactly what your affiliation with Gatlinburg is, Jim. I'm the public relations manager for the uh, Gatlinburg Convention and Visitors Bureau, which is a uh, uh, in charge of all the marketing and uh, promotion of Gatlinburg, including the Gatlinburg.com website, which is very popular. And then we uh, administer all the, the advertising and the, and the websites and things like that that are so important to uh, getting visitors information on Gatlinburg. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and Gatlinburg is just, it's one of my very favorite places. That's where I spent my honeymoon. My children love to come there. And this is about, to me, the perfect season to visit Gatlinburg. It is. It's It's not, you know, the weather is a little, uh, a little bit cooler maybe than Alabama, although last year we had as mild a winter as anybody. Absolutely. Um, and uh, we were off, we're off to a pretty mild start in December, which, you know, in a way we we hope it's cold because then over Galmer can make snow. But if it's not cold, we can, you know, people get out and enjoy the park more. Sure. Um, the, the ultimate thing for us would be to have lots of cold weather so over to Galmer can make snow at night when it's under 32 degrees, and then you know, sunshiny in the daytime. But you know, we don't need, necessarily need to have all that snow that that uh, we had a couple of years ago, which I think it even affected you guys some. Oh, it, it did just a little bit. That's the year that we saw a little bit of white stuff on Christmas, and that was the first in my lifetime. So you have yeah, to... we had 17 inches of my house that on Christmas wow. night, so <laughs> that's a little bit different world, but yes, you know, it's it a great time of year because it's not as crowded as it is, you know, in, in uh, July or even October. Mm-hmm. It's a great atmosphere with Gatlinburg where magic lights up, and, yes. you know, walking around downtown is what is, is the fun part of being in Gatlinburg in the wintertime. Uh, you can go up in the mountains and on, on a pretty day and spend some time, but there's so, there's so many things to do when you get back down to town that that uh, 
it's really fun to uh, get out and, and just even people watch, but there's shopping and, and attractions and restaurants, right. and just a little bit of everything for people to do. Right. And now you guys are in full swing as far as having the lights up, the, the Christmas parades already happened and all that. Tell us a little bit about the lights this year, because I think now they're a little different than they used to be. Everything's LED from what I understand. Everything's LED, and, and uh, we have 3 million lights, and, and they go up in early. You, you say know, that like it's nothing. November. You said that like it's three million lights. We have three million lights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, it's really kind of cool. We we uh we went to LED. I think this is our fourth or fifth year where we've all gone to all LED. Mm-hmm. And what it's done is it cut our electric bill from sixty four thousand dollars a year to about fourteen thousand. <gasps> wow! It's amazing. Is that much of a change? And if you, and, you know, if you do your Christmas tree at home like that, I guess over time it would it, you know it pays for itself. Oh, I think uh, so. Quickly. Oh, I started to say, for you guys, probably paid for itself very, very quickly. Wow. That's right. Yeah, and uh, we've got, you know, displays all over town. We have the the trolley ride of lights, which leaves every night from the the, uh, Mass Transit Center there at Ripley's Aquarium of Smokies. And uh, you can catch the trolley at 6.30, 7.30, or 8.30 and go on about a 45-minute tour where you... Yeah, the trolley will take you around and show you all the lights. Wow. It only costs five bucks. It's really worth it. So oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I love the trolley ride. Your times. And, sure. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun. We, you know, the lights are just gorgeous. The LEDs are so so crisp and sharp, and, yeah. and uh, we're just really proud of them. Good. That sounds awesome. I need to get back up there and check them out myself. Um, now, listen, a lot of folks ask me, what is Winterfest? And I, you know, and I think of events, I think of the Christmas lights, I think of a lot of things. What is the concise answer to that? Yeah, well, Winterfest is just, it is the lights. Um, the lights go on in early November and they stay on until the end of February. So it, it's it's kind of a, Sevier County, this, this is a, a partnership between Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge and Sevierville where everybody turns their lights on. And it's just, we want to build a, kind of an ambiance or a, an atmosphere of you know you're you're away from home and you're on a vacation you know you you feel like you're away from home it gives you a, a neat spirit you know the lights are twinkling and and uh, for, especially if you have little kids or grandkids it's really a fun thing to come and tour all three towns um Sevierville and Gal and Sevierville's gone to all LED I think Pigeon Forge has too wow and uh, it's just kind of neat they all have their signature displays there's nothing. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, there's just about every kind of display you can think of. Okay. And um, people and have been coming true. up here to Gallimer for the lights since 89 is when they started. So Isn't that I cool? remember when I was a lot younger coming up here to look at the lights. Oh, yeah. I can remember, you know, the best thing, one of the best things. And for us, kicking off Christmas was we would come after Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving and driving. We always made the trip so that we would drive into town. With it just totally dark, it would be, sometimes it would be midnight and we'd wake the kids up and it would just be unbelievable. That was like the true magic of Christmas for us. The kids were like, okay, well, it's time now. (laughs) The the parkway is really special. We we, uh, finished undergrounding the, the, um, the south end of the parkway this year as you go from the convention center to the national park and it, it really looks different you know the power lines are gone the, the, the electric poles and all that and it's really it's just really cool you feel like you're in a different place and wow. uh, it opens right up and it's beautiful wow so now what other events are tied to uh chris the um winter fest is there's there's arts and crafts things usually that are going on there in the convention center yeah. Okay. We just had our big arts and crafts show at the convention center, and you know our Christmas parade was was uh, December seventh. But you know up until Christmas, we'll have um, carolers on the streets oh, on the weekends. Um, Dickens style or acapella, and it's really that's another thing about atmosphere. Uh, you know, in the summertime we do the Smoky Mountain Tunes and Tales program with right. bluegrass music, and then in the, in the wintertime between Thanksgiving and Christmas we do the carolers, and they it's really uh, puts you in the spirit. It's just uh, people really enjoy it. Um, we'll have our ball drop, our, our uh, 25th annual uh, ball drop and fireworks show coming okay. up on New Year's Eve. Oh, last wow. Year, last year it was 50 degrees at midnight. It was so warm. Wow. Well, we had 60,000 people in the streets. You know what? Amazing. That is something I'm not real familiar with, Jim. And with that event coming up, let's talk a little bit about that. Okay. Yeah, we um, people gather around uh, 
the space needle areas where the, okay. the, the ball actually drops from the space needle. Okay. Well, that would make sense. That's perfect. And then they and they shoot fireworks off from the top of it. Wow. And it's really, I mean, you can see them from anywhere. You can be on the mountainsides around Gatlinburg, or a lot of people gather in the streets. I mean, the, the traffic this year was choked off around 11 o'clock this last year because there were so many people that oh just my goodness. took over downtown. Yeah, you so could get around, but that was okay because people were wanting to walk around anyway. Right. And it's like Times Square. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be best probably to park off site and maybe the, take the trolley over. Is that something you can do? Yeah, you could. Okay. Yeah. I mean, okay. It's, it's just going to be congested. It, you know, I'm sure New York Times is packed. You know, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, the square down well, there. Yeah, people Times expect square. that. They expect that. Sure. You know, so just don't get in a rush and find you a place to park and just take your time and, and uh, then join 50,000 of your best friends, you know, and <laughs> have a party in the middle of the street. It, it's really, it's, it's about a 10 or 12 minute fireworks show. And wow. The ball's kind of neat. Um, they've been doing it for 25 years now. And, and I remember coming um, years ago to ball drops in Gatlinburg and it's, it's just a good time for everybody. And it's a, kind of a family atmosphere. You see a lot of kids. You know, okay. and, and uh, it's very safe in Gatlinburg. So we're kind of proud of it. We're glad to see people come. And, and uh, that's a Monday night this year. So um, hopefully people can make a big three or four day weekend out of it. That is a great event. You know, people are always asking me, what can we do? We want a family activity that we can do for New Year's Eve. And there's so many activities for New Year's Eve that just don't revolve around family activities. That right. is absolutely perfect. Now, as far as accommodations available in Gatlinburg right now, are, are you guys approaching sold out for the New Year's Eve weekend, um, or do you have any idea how those numbers are starting to look? I'm, I'm sure it'll. It's, I'm sure it's filling up. Um, Gatlinburg.com is a great place to get on and, okay. and book lodging. Um, okay. Any time of the year, we have a, a button called the Deals and Packages, or right. and uh, you can find. You know, buy three, get one night free, that kind of thing on right. there. But you can research all kinds of different lodging. You know, if you want a cabin or a condo or a hotel room or a bed and breakfast or a, even if you want to camp, all that information is on Gallenberg.com. Okay. And uh, just make a few phone calls and, and uh, the larger cabins fill up fast. You know, we have some six and eight and ten bedroom cabins. But right. there's lots of, you know, we have an abundance of one and two bedroom cabins and condos and, and hotel rooms. I'm sure there's rooms downtown that it's really neat to be able to be downtown. Yes. If you can, uh, on, on the weekend, so you don't have to get out and move your car. And that's exactly what I was about to say. There is a lot to be said for staying somewhere like the, is it the Bearskin Lodge that's back there just a block off? Right. Yeah, yeah. that's a great right place to stay. Line. Yes. Great place, and just park your car, and you don't have to worry about that. Everything's within walking distance. There is so much to be said for that. Really, and as really. you said before, our trolley system is great too. You can hop it on is. for fifty cents or a buck and go just about anywhere. Absolutely, now. yes, and it's and it's fun, and the kids love that, and even even us big kids love that. So <laughs> anyway, but yes, so much to do there in Gatlinburg, and Jim, I appreciate your time. I just feel like there's so much we could talk about. I mean, I could spend twenty minutes talking about Sweet Fanny Adams, and then you know start talking about Ripley's and all the other things and there's just so much to see and do and like you said it depends on the weather if it's you know if it's in the 50s 60s 70s then certainly Cades Cove and those kind of things um, but when yeah. it's cold there's plenty to do when it's cold as well now um, is there anything else that's going on between now and uh, the end of the year that our, re our listeners need to know about uh, those, those are the big things okay uh, um the, the, we had a lot of events over Thanksgiving and and, there, and even the Christmas parade um, back on December seventh. But okay. this time of year, we, we find that if we have too many events, then it kind of chokes off town because we want people to enjoy the downtown area and be sure. able to get around, right? And uh, you know, not be too crowded. And and uh, but the, the ball drop is the biggest thing we've got coming up on far. And, well, and, that uh, sounds awesome. Come join us. Absolutely, and let's tell folks again that website where they can go to find out about. Um, yep. All things Gatlinburg. And I encourage them when they go to that website, click on that deals and packages because you never know. We have found some amazing bargains on places to stay under that deals tab. You're not kidding. And, uh, you know, lots of, lots of properties don't want to wait around and fill up. They'd like to, to get those booked up. And, Absolutely. Uh, time to do it. Sure. Okay, so that website is? Gatlinburg.com. That's just so hard. 
so easy. Isn't it? I know. And I tell you what, for anybody that uh, can't remember it, um, I will certainly have that linked up on our Facebook fan page and everybody will be able to find it easily there. Jim, we're out of time. I All appreciate right. you so much, buddy. We'll be talking to you again soon. Okay. Thank you, Becky. Thank you. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. That was Jim Davis with the Gatlinburg. Um, well, he's the PR director at Gatlinburg and he is, I mean, he knows his stuff, Mike. I mean, he's, he's all over it. He knows his stuff. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah. You he know, makes, and actually, um, I was, I was actually there last year for New Year's Eve for the ball drop. Oh, were you really? Was it great? It was amazing. Um, that was the first time I've done that. Uh, my family and I went up and, and he's, he's right. I mean, there were thousands of people in the street, but what an amazing atmosphere. And like you said, very safe for the kids. You know, I had my wife there, my kids there. We, we kissed at midnight. It was, it was a great thing. Wow. Well, that might have to be an option for the Beale family. That's a place we haven't been. We've been a lot of other places for New Year's, but not there. And that sounds like something we might want to do. All right. We're going to have to take a break. We'll be right back on the other side with more of the Travel Voice by Becky. There's no better place to celebrate the holidays than Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Enjoy the spirit of the season with Gatlinburg Winter Magic Lights, unique shopping experiences, arts and crafts, and outstanding special events, including the Fantasy of Lights Christmas Parade and New Year's Eve Ball Drop and Fireworks Show. Ober Gatlinburg is the perfect family venue for fun ski experiences, snowboarding, snow tubing, and ice skating. This holiday season, give your family the gift of a life Lifetime, a trip to Gatlinburg. Not sure where to start in planning your trip or looking for a place to stay? Check out Gatlinburg.com for all the information you'll need to plan this unforgettable trip. Be sure and click on the Lodging Deals button. Play, dine, shop, be merry this holiday season in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Jackson Mountain Homes Cabin Rentals have amazing views of the Smokies. Here, let me paint you a picture with sound. You're on the porch. There's a cool mountain breeze. Birds chirp, chipmunks chitter, a turkey wanders by, an eagle soars through the sky. It gets in a fight with another eagle over a trout. The turkey gets scared and... Sorry, I got carried away. It actually sounds, well, quiet. Yeah. From simple to super deluxe, Jackson Mountain Homes Cabin Rentals are affordable at any budget. Visit jacksonmountainhomes.com. Welcome back into the Travel Voice by Becky. We have with us now Amanda Marr from Sevierville, Tennessee. Amanda, tell us what your affiliation is with Sevierville. Well, Becky, we are the Sevierville Chamber of Commerce. So uh, we actively work to tell people about all the great things that there are to see and do when you're visiting Sevierville and the Great Smoky Mountains. And there are plenty of things going on right now. (laughs) That's for sure. there are. (laughs) <laughs> Listen, we were trying to let our listeners know a little bit earlier, just kind of that term Winterfest, what all that encompasses. Can you kind of give us a rundown on that and, and just what exactly Winterfest is when it Absolutely. begins and ends and what's going on there? Winterfest is um, about a four month long celebration. We start in November and go all the way through February and just have millions of lights up and down the parkway. So as you're driving around, you can really enjoy looking at the lights and um, stop, get your picture taken, just a lot of fun things. And right now, as we're celebrating the Christmas season, um, there are, of course, a lot of really great shows that you can catch when you're in the area, Mm -hmm. a lot of great shopping that you can do. And we've got some great Winterfest activities like Shadrach's Christmas Wonderland at Smoky Stadium. And uh, they've got millions of lights just in one place there. It's um, one of the world's largest LED drive-through light displays. I was actually going to ask you about that because we spoke about that just a little bit when we did our interview that day at Wilderness at the Smokies. Mm -hmm. And that just sounded like such an awesome event. Can you elaborate just a little bit on that? It is incredible. This year they have added a full half mile to their displays. Okay. Um, So a mile and a half drive-through experience. It takes about 30 minutes. Okay. What happens is when you pull up, you pay per vehicle. So for like a family type vehicle, it's $20. Okay. Um, For larger, like, you know, church buses, tour buses, it's a little bit more. And they've got their full pricing on um, shadrachchristmas.com is their website. Okay. Okay. But um, you pull up there, they've got it set, you know, you tune your radio in 
And as you, you drive through, they've got all these wonderful Christmas songs and all of these light displays. You know, we're talking 70 foot high light trees and, and their whole half mile display that they've added this year is the 12 days of Christmas. Oh man. Uh, so it's just, it's the neatest thing. Little kids love it. Big kids love it. Oh, I'm I, sure. I went through, um, had my 80 year old grandmother and my three year old son with me. <laughs> and both of them thought it was the best thing that I'd ever seen. So um, oh, man. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun. And the, the awesome thing about it is that it does benefit Second Harvest Food Bank here locally. So, okay. you know, it's also a way of giving back to the community while celebrating the Christmas season and seeing some great lights. That is awesome. Now, I know as far as Winterfest goes, um, that that typically runs all the way through, what, February? There's activities going on all through February? It goes through the end of February. And, okay. of course, some of the other things that we have going on, um, you know, we're talking different consumer shows like Parker's Greatest Knife Show is going to be in Sevierville. Oh, um, wow. We've got the the Santa Hustle coming up this weekend, which is and a... What is that? That is a um, 5K and half marathon. Wow. And is at Wilderness at the Smokies. Oh, goodness. And, okay. And they have it every year. This year, it's uh, December 9th. Next year, it'll be December 15th. Okay. And uh, it's just, it's really cool because, you know, you sign up to run and, and you get like a Santa... A red long sleeve t shirt and a Santa beard and a Santa hat to run. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and I've got cookies and all kinds of stuff as you as you go along the course. So it's just it's a lot of fun. I will be out there hustling in my Santa gear this weekend. I'm excited. That's too funny. I need some pictures of that. <laughs> I need some pictures. I'm very excited about. It. I'm I'm pumped that Lauren Chesney from Tennessee Smokies Baseball is going to be out there running with me. So it's, oh, it's gonna be a good fun. weekend. <laughs> that but, sounds uh, like a blast. You there know, is so, you know, there is so much going on in the Smoky Mountains. And I know um, for those of us, because, you know, this show now is reaching a much larger audience because of our YouTube channel. We're actually able to reach people everywhere. And one of the big things I find is that we live in the South. So we've grown up knowing all about the Smoky Mountains and what's there and, and what to expect. Other people who come you know because when I come to visit I will be visiting for like the 50th time there are people who don't know about Sevierville Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg that whole area they just they don't understand what it's like um, and I, so I'm trying to give those listeners a real picture in their mind of how to encompass what Winterfest is like in this entire area and to me, the lights are the biggest part of it as far as the first impression. And you were telling me about using the LED lights this year, and that's, I guess, for the past few years? Yes. Um, Sevierville is 100% LED, okay. and Gatlinburg is 100% LED. Okay. Uh, Pigeon Forge is getting there. They're, okay. they're almost at 100% LED. But the great thing about that is that it is um, such an energy savings for each of the cities they're putting it on, it lets us um, have a wider variety of color in our displays. And um, it's just, it's really gorgeous. They're they are crisp and clear and they look wonderful. Um, wow. And so as you're, you're driving up and down the parkway, you know, for instance, in Sevierville, you'll, you'll be on Highway 66 and see whole forests of bright blue LED trees. Wow. And you'll see... Um, reindeer leaping across arcs that are are on the side of the road. So, I mean, just unique little things like that 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 are surprising that you see everywhere. And of course, Pigeon Forge has wonderful displays all down their parkway and right. Gatlinburg as well. So, it really is um, just a, a total sensory experience to come here and see all those lights and and just sort of wrap yourself up in the the holiday season because it this whole area just really, really, really works to. Um, make it festive. You are exactly right. That's one of the best things about driving in when you get off the main road and you you head into the Smoky Mountains and you just you just see that whole area. It just lights up. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is very much a family destination. So many times now people are they're looking for family destinations because a lot of places have gotten away from it. And this is one place that you can still come. And like you said, I love your analogy earlier, bringing your 80-year-old grandmother and your three-year-old son and both fit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a, this is a great destination for multi-generational travel. Right. And the reason is because there is something for everyone here. Absolutely. You know, whether you, you want to come in with you know, your family age range from, from 1 to 81, mm -hmm. um, you're going to find things to do. You're going to find places to stay. 
You're not going to be worried about, you know, hey, is this show going to be appropriate right. or is this attraction going to be appropriate? Because it yeah. is, because we're so family focused here. Yeah. So I think that, um, you know, there's a, a high level of security in that, you know, when you've got limited time and money to take vacations in a year, you know, this is one place that you can come and know you're going to get quality for your vacation time and absolutely. you're going to enjoy yourself. So, right. Absolutely. I'm very proud of that. And tons of different things to do. Talk a little bit about Rainforest Adventure. Rainforest Adventure is one of my favorite places. I love it's it a, too. <laughs> isn't it awesome? It's it rain, is. It's a Rainforest Discovery Zoo. Mm -hmm. And um, the owner, Bill Lucy, has worked really, really hard to create an atmosphere that's all about education yes. and they're about conservation. Mm -hmm. So when you go there, you're going to learn about all these really incredible exotic animals. Mm -hmm. You're also going to learn about breeding programs that they're working with. Um, you're going to get to learn about some of the more unusual creatures. He's got a couple of two-headed turtles there. Oh, wow. Um, and the reason why he has some of these more unique animals is that he works with our um, wildlife resource agency, when they, you know, have seizures of illegal exotic animals and that kind of thing, right. a lot of times he'll be able to help them out and take those animals and take care of them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just, it's a really unique opportunity to see some different animals in a fun educational atmosphere. And, you know, they've got birds, they've got a petting zoo area, they have a walk-in aviary. Uh, you can actually be in the cage with the birds. So right. it's and it is so clean. It's not like, you know, I've been in lots of these little, I call them makeshift reptile places that you just see uh -huh. on the side of the road. It seems like when you go through Florida, you just see like a ton of them. Um, this is very well kept. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. It is so well kept that, I mean, really, you felt like you could have eaten off the floor. Yeah. Rainforest Adventures is a quality zoo. And right. in fact, um, with their, their breeding programs, they actually work with some of the top zoos in the nation, um, exchanging animals back and forth and, and working to um, continue breeding some of the more endangered type species. So, I mean, they've got a great reputation in the industry, and it really is a fantastic place to come, bring your family. And um, especially, I always say, you know, if, you, if your kids love Discovery Channel, mm -hmm. Animal Planet, this is the place to go. They're going to love it. <laughs> it's affordable. And the great thing about it, too, is that you get a passport for the day. Oh, so, wow. like, let's say you've got a four or five-year-old with you who decides, you know, Mama, I'm tired. I want to go back and take a nap at the hotel. Mm -hmm. No problem. Take him, take a nap. You can come back anytime that day that you want to. That's so awesome. It's, it's very nice. Yeah, that's a great, great thing. A lot of places don't utilize that enough. They they really make it hard for families, and that is a great point right there. Now, I know that we have done some outdoor activities there before. We've done some horseback riding up by the petting zoo. Uh huh. I'm trying to remember the name of that place. Adventure Park at Five Oaks. That would be it. <laughs> right. Across, yep. They're they're right across from Tanger Five Oaks Outlet Mall. Okay. So it's it's wonderful. You know, if you're you come with that big family or you've you've got people that want to do different things in the group, um, it's right on the parkway. So okay. you're not having to drive way out in the country to it. Right. But once you get over that hill, it is just like you're out in the woods. Okay. Right through okay. the foothills. It's sure. absolutely gorgeous. They've got a little pond out there. You ride the horses around and if you're feeling extra adventurous, they also have a zipline course there. I was going to ask you, I had that on my list of, of just amenities and activities. Where in the area can you zipline? I know there's got to be a place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we have a few zipline attractions. And the, the thing that's great about them is that they each offer something different. Okay. Um, and the thing that I love about Adventure Park at Five Oaks is that it's right there on the parkway. Right. So it's convenient um, if you've got... Other people in your family that want to do other activities, not a problem. It's all right there close together. And um, they have a challenge by choice course. So if you start off on it and decide, you know, I don't think I can do this, you can stop at any point along. Um, but, I, you know, not many people do because it's right. so comfortable and feels safe. That, exactly. um, you know, I really think it's an opportunity for people to, to face some fears and, and gain some good confidence. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, I think. Action. Yes, I agree. Totally agree. And then you mentioned Tanger. There's awesome shopping in Sevierville. And yes. I think that I cannot, I mean, I know our time is about to run out, but I absolutely cannot hang up without talking just a little bit about the food in the area and the different kinds of 
of, um, you know, people think about the mountains and they just think about real comfort foods. And that's really what I think about. I know I'm not going up there to have the world's biggest lobster and those sorts of things, but we are <laughs> going to have some really good. I mean, we talk about coming up there and my husband is like, he is salivating for days. He's ready to get there and, you know, just get some of that good apple barn cooking and things like that. And, and lots of good restaurants in the area. Give us kind of a breakdown of the kinds of food that we would see in that area. Well, you know, you're talking traditional um, Southern cooking. You've got Applewood Farmhouse Restaurant, which is so famous for their apple fritters and their apple butter that start every meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner there. Um, that's a great place to go. I also would tell you to, to check out Tony Gore's Smoky Mountain Barbecue. Um, it is incredible food. He's got great barbecue, great Southern cooking, and his Desserts are the hidden gem there, in my opinion. His coconut cake is to die for. Oh, Plus, he's got great, great Southern gospel concerts throughout the year there as well. Um, so a lot of things going on there. Now, the diner mm -hmm. has, um, you know, all your traditional. I love the diner. I love that place. Fun. I think you all went to lunch there the last time. We you did. Were and, you know, you feel like mail is about to come out of the back and Flo oh, yeah. is going to come serve you. <laughs> It's just so fun, and the food is so good. So, you know, definitely a good place to stop and try. Right. Um, also, Clint's Barbecue is such a, a local hangout, and they've got great music just about every night of the week there. You can uh, catch either gospel or bluegrass or country music. So that's just such a fun place to go. Um, well, and we, You know, and one of our favorite breakfast places is Flapjacks. Oh, I love Flapjacks. Yes. Yeah. They, they have such unique pancake dishes. They I don't do. know how, how do you figure out all these things to do with pancakes, but they're always coming up with something innovative and different. And I know. I'm just, and the Reese's little peanut butter pancakes and all, yeah. you know, just crazy stuff. It's good. And the cute so, little designs they make them into for the kids, the, you know, uh -huh. the little teddy bear pancakes and the different, oh, it's yeah. just so cute. We so just, Amanda, <laughs> I have a question for you. Speaking of pancakes, I was going to ask you this, you know, when you're in that area, you see about a hundred places that say they have the world's best pancakes. <laughs> Where is the world's best pancakes in Sevierville? <laughs> Flapjacks. It's Flapjacks. There you go. <laughs> I would say Flapjacks, yes. But that is some good stuff. Yes, you it is. need to try it next time here, Mike. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back up there soon. We need to get some we need to get some live footage now to go with, with all these videos and things. So we do <laughs> need to plan a trip up there. That sounds I'm amazing. Back. And listen, Amanda, I am just about out of time, although I could spend another hour talking with you and we will get together on another call here very, very soon. But let's let folks know where they can find out and plan their trip online to come and visit Sevierville, Tennessee. Well, you just said it, Becky. Go to visitsevereville.com. Okay. That's V I S I T S E V I E R V I L L E.com. Okay. okay. And uh, we've got complete information on there about all the great places to stay. And that's everything okay. from water park resorts to cabins to great hotels. Yes. Uh, we've got restaurant information, shopping information. So a lot of great stuff to help you get planned. And of course, you can also request a free vacation planner. If okay. you want a build piece that you can look through and, and decide that is, what your family are going to do. Yes, and that is very, very informative. There's a lot of information in that vacation planner. And also, also and you mentioned this, I want to touch on it just briefly. And I know Mike is um, giving me the stinky eye because I'm, I'm going way <laughs> over here. But um, just Wilderness at the Smokies. You know, yes. just, I, I feel like we need to tell people that it's there because it's so amazing. It's the indoor water park and it's like this huge mecca of entertainment and activities for children and for older people. Just a great place to come, especially this time of year when you get a little bit of cabin fever and you start getting the winter blues. You want to well, get out. That, and that's the thing that's so cool about Wilderness is with their indoor water park. They have indoor and outdoor water parks there. Right. But with their indoor water park, it's open year round. So, oh. you know, you can go in there. It's 80 85, 86 degrees. 86, exactly. Yeah, it's 86 degrees year round. So, you know, it's it doesn't matter how cold it is outside, if it's snowing, if it's raining, it doesn't matter. You can come in, you and your kids can go check out all the water slides. Yes. You can take surfing lessons, um, okay. all kinds of crazy stuff. And, you know, they really cater to kids, especially at Winterfest and Christmas time. Okay. Because uh, during the month of December, they've even got opportunities to go swimming with Santa. So, oh, my goodness. Now, really who's ever done that? Okay. I haven't, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm excited I mean, about that. Yeah, that's a thing on my list I just never even thought I would talk about is is swimming with Santa. 
<laughs> on my holiday bucket list, I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> there you go. That is just awesome. Listen, Amanda, you are fantastic as always. I appreciate your time so much. Thank you for being with us, and we will talk again soon. Thank you, Becky. Okay, have a good day. Right, Bye-bye. Too. That was Amanda Marr with Sevierville Chamber of Commerce. We appreciate Amanda every time she's on here. So full of information, great things to do in the Smoky Mountains. Thank you, Amanda. We have got to take a break, but we'll be right back with more of The Travel Voice by Becky. Hi, I'm Dolly Parton. Welcome to my hometown, Sevierville, Tennessee. There is so much to do here. Between shopping, attractions, delicious restaurants, well, you'll want to come back again and again. And when you're in town, be sure and stop in downtown Sevierville to see the Dolly Parton statue. They say I look just like her. <laughs> Get your free Sevierville vacation planner at visitsevierville.com. Well, Mike, what a show we've had today, all about Winterfest and the Smoky Mountains. I'm that ready was to go. Exci- what do you think? You know, if I wasn't in the Christmas spirit beforehand, Becky, I am now. I mean, Me I, I want to go. I want to go. Can you think about all those millions of lights and they're all <sighs> LED? Gosh. And to me, when people say, well, what's the difference in LED? I think of it as definition, high definition light. It is. Like it the is. difference in regular television versus high def. Yeah, you I know, never thought that it was a big deal until I got high def. And then I'm like, wow, everything else is just beneath it. <laughs> I know. You don't want to watch anything that's not in high def. And the, the, the same thing kind of is the same way with, with the LED lights versus the regular incandescent lights. Is LEDs yeah. provide just a sharper, clearer, brighter image versus incandescents now to me look yellow. They look yellow yeah, and, and dim, so um, yeah. beautiful. I mean, the only thing that could make it better was if there was maybe a couple of inches of snow up in the mountains, you know, just that. Oh, oh, you know, beautiful. and I'm betting that there, that could very well be possible, you yeah. know. Thanks to our guest today, Amanda Marr from Sevierville uh, Chamber of Commerce there. That's going to be visit com to find out more about them. And then also uh, Jim Davis over in Gatlinburg. You can find them at gatlinburg.com. Uh, both of those websites, you can go on and find accommodations, specials, deals, packages, activities, restaurants in the area. Uh, you can find out which restaurants, you know, have kids eat free, that sort of thing. And then also, um, you know, our, our one of our sponsors, Jackson Mountain Homes, they have some awesome cab, awesome cabins and chalets. And we have stayed in quite a number of those over the years. Great service. It's always going to be what you expect. It's going to be high quality. And we have never had a bad experience with Jackson Mountain Homes. So visit them, jacksonmountainhomes.com. That's going to be all the time we have today, Mike. Thanks again for listening, everyone. And we'll be back soon with another episode of The Travel Voice by Becky. Until then, safe travels. Uh-huh.